Now merge sort is again an input independent algorithm. It doesn't take care of what input you give. It will have the same time complexity for best, worst and average case definitely. So let's take an example and try to do merge sort. So I will take the same example 5, 1, 4, 2, 8 and maybe I will take one more item. Uh, let's say 3. Okay. This is the array with index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, merge sort is like based on two different algorithms and uh, this will be given in the assignment. Uh, the, the first algorithm is, is binary partition. If you have solved binary search or we will see that in later class binary search, then you know about binary partition already. After doing the binary partition, you have to apply the logic of merge to sorted list. So if you know these two problems, how to solve them, then you already know how to solve merge sort problem. Okay. So let's look at it. By binary partition, what I mean? What do I mean by binary partition? So I mean that you will have a low value. You will have a high value and you will have a mid value which will be equals to low plus high, high minus low by two, right? And this technique is used to avoid overflow. I will explain this when doing binary search, but you can also write low plus high by two, which is not a very good way to write. Okay. So this will do binary partition that I will find a midpoint between low and high, and I will divide from low to mid and mid plus one to high. I hope you guys got it right. So this is how you keep partitioning the entire array into two equal parts. Now in this problem, I will assume that if you have odd number, then I will take one extra element to the left side. Okay. You can make your own assumption and take it on the right side, but uh, conventionally people just take it on the left side. So I will also do the same. Now in this case, low value will be zero, high value will be five. And I hope you understand that uh, how it is coming. Initially we will assume 0 to be low and n minus 1 to be high, right? So now uh, you partition, what will be the mid value? 0 plus 5 by 2 will be 2. So 2 will be mid. So low to mid will be partition. And mid plus 1 to high will get partition into another array, right? When I say another array, it is exactly the same array which I am passing by reference. But I am just changing the position values for low and high, okay? So when I say that uh, the array here will be something like 5, 1, 4, and it will be closed, then this doesn't mean that I'm just sending three elements. I'm sending the entire array, but I'm just changing the low value to zero index and high value to two index here, right? Is that clear? And uh, when I say that it, this is going to the right hand side, the mid plus one is assigned to low when I uh, make the second call, right? So let's do it, two, eight, three. Okay, you are done. Again, you do binary partition. Tell me what will be the partition for this? How many of these will come to the left and right? Five will be uh, five uh, on left. One by one and four. One and four on right. It depends. No, no, no. I will take see two by two by two will be what? Zero plus two by two will be one, right? So the mid will be one. Again, I said that low to mid will be on one side okay. and mid plus one to high on the on the other side. So I will take, I, I also said that if you have an extra element, I'm assuming I'll take it on the left side. So that formula itself will make sure that you are taking that, uh, you are following that convention. And I would not suggest you to change the formula for your own sake. Okay. So just stick to it. And uh, yeah, so this will be zero and this will be one. And here four. you will have a value four. four. So this will have index two. Four will have index zero, right? Okay. Uh, five one four will have index uh, the four which we have just now. Uh, no, no, no. It will not be zero. I think th this one we should change it to three four five, right? It should not be zero, but this one should be three four five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's now uh, change it back to two eight and three, and this will be one, and this will be the other, and you will have three four and five. Again, if you do keep doing binary partition, you will see that this one will also be partitioned into like something like this. Five. So you will have five, one, 
and this is just the leaf so there will be two eight and you will get something like this right yes. fine so this will be zero one two three four five yes now we have done binary partition you can do it by recursion so how the recursion flow will go is it will first go to the left hand side to the leftmost side and solve the leftmost sub problem move back and then try to solve the rightmost problem so if you are given this as a problem you will get this as the first sub problem then you will get this as the second sub problem and you will get here and now you go back and you will get here and then you go back and you merge this to a uh, sorted list so if you are already familiar with tree traversal i would say this is a post order tree traversal right the solution is following the post order tree traversal so you first go to the left side then you go to the right side and then you come back the third time and uh, you take the left solution right solution and try to apply the logic of merging to sorted list okay so let's first see how to merge two sorted list if you have if you have a list with just a single item is it sorted yes i mean yeah. what do you think yeah. in what order yes. is, it, is it sorted is it sorted in ascending or descending you can say both it's sorted in ascending because there's only one value there is no value to compare so it is sorted in which order ascending order okay any okay. order is fine ascending or descending why yeah. not in descending yeah, that's why we are not able okay. to compare. <laughs> so yeah, a single element is always sorted in whatever order you think of. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it's uh, it's, yeah. So it is. Uh, we are assuming ascending order in this case. So it, so that will be ascending. Now let's say that I have two sorted list one four seven and I have let's say two three eight. Now if I want to merge them into a single list then you can actually use the simple technique of using two pointers one pointer here and another pointer here compare which one is smaller and you start placing it into the third array and then move that pointer and again compare these two with four and two will be smaller so move this pointer compare with this three with four and three will be smaller so you move it here compare this four with eight four is smaller you move it here and uh, compare this uh, seven and eight seven will be smaller this is going out of bounds whenever a list ends the rest of the element has to be copied from the second list so there was only one element and this is how you can copy and if this size was m and this size was n then you can say order of m plus n which is linear over the count of elements right yes okay so i'm rubbing this so this is how this is a simple technique again i will have another uh, question for you in the array assignment where it says about merge the merge the two sorted list but then the first m element should be in the first one and the later half of the n element should be in the other list so there should be no use of an extra array that assignment will be given i guess in the array array section so i'm not giving the solution for that now anyway now you know how to do binary partition top down and once you reach to the smallest sub problem of size one in recursion you you have to write the base case just after you write you declare the function you have to write the base case there you have to write that if there are only one element if low is equals to high then you just go back you return back so you return back from here and you return back from here and once you do that then at this at this sub problem there is a sorted list on the left and the right side now if you apply the logic or the code of merging two sorted list then its order will change and now this will become one comma five right yes and once you have done that you return back and you you call now you call the right sub problem like this four was never uh created this sub problem was never created unless the left side gets solved okay it, it doesn't mean that this tree is get, is getting created level order it is not level order it is just it is a post order traversal so you solve the left one first and then only the right one but now you create this sub problem four and this is a this is a size one sub problem so you just go back now you merge two sorted list one comma five with four and your result will be one four five and now you go back and once you go back your five one four is sorted to one four five and then only you make a call to the right hand side 
and then only this entire structure will get created this was never present right even though i have drawn it level order it is not level order right so now you make a call to the right hand side and and you see that okay this a problem will be making a call to the left hand side and then again to two you come back from two you make a call to eight come back from it and now you merge two sorted list it will stay the same as two comma eight now you go back you make a call to this uh, three so you come back from this three and now you apply the logic of merging two sorted list so it will be two eight uh two three eight and now when you go back you apply again the same logic with one four five and so you will get one two three four five eight right I will I will show you the su pseudo code for this, but then you will have to write the entire code using that same problem which I had given. Now, before writing the pseudo code, let's discuss about the complexity of this. You will know that since we are doing binary partition and we are having n elements here, the left sub problem will have n by two elements and the right sub problem will have n by two elements. And again, this sub problem will have n by four. This will have n by four. This will have n by four, and this will have n by four, right? And we and I will continue doing it unless I get a one one element at the end, right? So if I happen to draw the recursion tree diagram for this, it will look like this: the n so n elements are divided into two parts, and again n by two are divided into two parts. And it will continue uh, until n by n. Yes, until n by n, right? So until one, size one is uh, shown that you have only one element. So if you if you see it level wise, how many elements are there? I mean, how many levels are there? What is the height of this tree? So from n, you are reducing to n by two. Again, you are reducing to n by four, and you have to reach one. And base two, right? Yes. yes. So you know that I mean, ignoring the base, it will be log n. That will be the number of levels. Yes. Now at each level, what are the number of comparisons oh. you are doing? Because you know that m plus n is the complexity of merging, right? Of merging two list. So here you have n items. So this will be order of n or n comparisons. Here you have n by two, but n by two is one sub problem, and another n by two is 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 the other one. So adding them both, you have again n items to be compared, and again yeah. it will be order of n. If you look at the next level, n by four is four times. So again you have order of n, right? And if you look at the last level, one will be n times. So you will have order of n. So order of n operations are being done for log n levels, and so both these has to be multiplied. Add n log n times, and you will get n log n, okay. right? Yeah, and it doesn't depend on the nature of input. Whatever may be the input, it doesn't depend on that. It just uh, goes ahead and solves it in and log n. So let's see the pseudo code. I hope you understood this, right? Yes. Uh, Surya. Yeah, we need any. Can you explain it once more? Uh, what we need? I didn't get uh, it. Uh, the time complexity part or the height of the tree. How you get it log n? Uh, height of the tree. Why is it log n? Right. That is yeah. what you are asking. Yeah. Okay. I think I had covered this in the time complexity class that uh, if you are increasing in powers of two or decreasing in powers of two, it will be log n to the base two. So let's say that uh, you have sixty four items, right? Now, if you are dividing it by two, this is n. If you divide it by two, it becomes n by two. This is thirty two, right? If you again divide it by two, this becomes n by four, and you have sixteen items. If you keep on going like this, this will be n by eight. Yeah. If you keep on going n by sixteen, and you keep on going to n by thirty-two, and, and you on keep each on going to level, one, which is n by sixty-four, right? So yeah. you see how many levels are there. It will be what? What was this number? Two to the power six, right? So you can have six levels across that. Uh, on okay. each level, uh, we are doing uh, order of n work. Like, yes, because because at the first level you just had one array of size n, so n okay. operation. But at the second level you had two arrays of size n by two. 
So even yeah. though this is order of n by two approx or n by two computations, but you are doing it two times for two different arrays. So if you multiply yeah. them again, that will become order of n. And okay. at the next level, you are doing it four times, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thanks. Okay. So let's Just say a quick uh, question. Do we need a extra any extra space yes. for merging them? Yes, uh, depends. Okay. So uh, if you are merging without using any extra space, like that problem will be given, then the complexity will be only due to the recursion. And uh, if you are merging using the simple technique of given two list, I will take another list and I will merge it to that list and I will change the reference of the array. So then in that case, it will be order of n extra space. But if you don't do that, it will be log n extra space. So yeah, so that problem will be given in the assignment. So please do that. I mean, in the array assignment, so it will not be given this week. So Surya, so, right now, just we did that was in place, right? So there won't be any space complexity. It will be big of one, right? Big of? Uh, big of one. So whatever we did right now, it was uh, in place sorting, right? I mean, it was not in place because uh, yeah, I mean, you can make it in place. I took the third array, right? That was an easier technique. So your your homework is will be given in the next week's as assignment that uh, you have to do it in place. And then you will learn how to do that. And uh, even if you do it in place, still it will not be order of one because uh, you have complexity with the, with the recursive calls, right? Mm -hmm. And the depth of the tree will definitely be the space complexity. If, if the depth is log n, then definitely log n complexity of space, right? If okay. you take order of one for all the level calls. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyone who knows when is merge sort used? For array, we follow quick sort most of the times, and for linked list, merge sort works better than quick sort. Simple reason being, quick sort uh, requires random access, merge sort doesn't require random access. Like linked list cannot provide you random access at all. Uh, okay, I was about to write the pseudo code for this. So help me out, like somebody. Let's say I'm taking uh, merge sort. What will be the return type of this? I think it should be void, right? Because we are not returning any value. And then let's say merge sort. And I'm taking an array as input. And I'm taking the low. And I'm taking the high value. I'm not taking anything else. Now the first condition will be the base case. So if low equals equals high, then I will simply return from here. In order to avoid something, I would say low greater than equals high. But then I don't think that case will arise. So this is the base case that you have to stop here and go back. Now, if it is not the last element, then definitely I can find the middle element. So let's say int middle is equals to low plus high minus low by two is done to find the middle element. And once you have found the middle element, now you can apply merge sort on the left side and merge sort on the right side. So on the array A, you will send L to mid mid will be now the high index of the left hand side array and uh, for the right hand side array you will send the same array by reference and that will be mid plus one to high and once you have sorted both the sub problems when you come back then you will have to apply the logic of merge to sorted list right merge to sorted list where you send your array a you say that L, mid and high value are these values so that the two lists are separated. It, it will be seen from low to mid and mid plus one to high, and then you will get it, right? Is that clear? Yes. So merge sort is the same recursive call and merge to sorted list is not a recursive call. It is a utility function which you have to write. Okay. I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number.